Today, we're gonna to take you through a guide on the Australian Big Banks COVID-19 relief packages. Some of the smaller banks are still working on there, so we're gonna go through NAB, Westpac, ANZ, and Commonwealth Bank, and let you know everything you need to know if you have a mortgage with them. Let's dive right in. So all of the major banks and even some of the smaller banks have committed to helping out everyday Australians through this tough period. From everyday Australians who might have lost their jobs to even small business owners, the banks are trying to help out and get everyone kind of through this relatively unscathed. But what can they do to help you? So we're gonna break down how they're helping existing mortgage holders, some stuff that you can look out for, and even a few other things that you could potentially do to help yourself today. All right, Nathan, let's get started with ANZ. What are some of ANZ Bank's relief packages? So if you've been affected by COVID-19 and you've got a mortgage with ANZ, they'll actually let you defer repayments for up to six months. The repayments will be capitalized onto the mortgage at the end, which means that you're not gonna to have to pay that back immediately. It does mean that the bank will calculate interest on these capitalized repayments. So it really is there for those that really need it. ANZ Bank are also one of the only banks that have reduced their variable interest rates with the most recent emergency rate cut in March, 2020. So they've reduced their variable interest rates by 0.15% and also released a couple of fixed rates, including a two year fixed rate of 2.19%. So if you have an existing home loan with them, it could be worth even just reviewing these and seeing if you're competitive in the market. Now the next one, Commonwealth Bank. Jaden, what are they doing here? Yeah, so similar to ANZ, the Commonwealth Bank are letting home loan customers and even business loan customers defer payments up to six months. Now you've got to go through their hardship team to apply for this and explain the situation. Like Nathan said before, it's not a great idea to do it just because, because ultimately you're going to be adding the interest repayments onto the loan and it's going to potentially cost you more interest over the life of the loan. Or if you come on lean times, it's not a bad idea just to help through your cash flow through this period. The Commonwealth Bank is also offering small business owners unsecured loans up to $250,000. This is in line with some of the stuff the government's doing at the moment. So if you do have a small business and you're suffering from cash flow issues, get in touch with the Commonwealth Bank, they might be able to help you through. All right, Nathan, so what is NAB doing to help people through the whole COVID crisis? On the home loan front, NAB is similar to ANZ and Combank. They're allowing people to defer repayments for up to six months, meaning that you can actually have no repayments for those six months repayments being capitalized onto the loan. For business customers, they're only allowing up to three months deferral of repayments. Yeah, this stuff is kind of pretty fluid. This is quite an unprecedented situation. With NAB's home loan deferral, they actually want to review it after three months and just see like, hey, if you're back in a job, then you can probably go back to paying your payments. Um, and same with the business loans, it's something they're reviewing and they might consider you on a case by case basis. So if you're with NAB, you've got an existing home loan or business loan, definitely get in touch with them to see what they can do. And lastly is Westpac. So Jaden, what's Westpac doing here? Similar again, they're offering three month deferral repayments with another three month option if you need it. They're also waiving a bunch of merchant fees on credit card facilities and small business loans if you're gonna break term deposits. They're kind of helping out with that. So again, if you're with Westpac, get in touch with them. There are a couple of other non-major banks like Suncorp, Bendigo, Macquarie that have all come out and said like, hey, we're here to help. Just give us a call. So I think at this time, the most important thing is try not to dig your head into the sand. It is pretty tough going for a lot of people out there. If so if you do need any help, hit us up at huntsgalloway.com.au or leave a comment below. But I hope you guys are all staying safe. Hope you're all well. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.